everyone, Arlen here. Welcome back to my Country Craft Corner in my van. <laughs> We're mobile today. How in the world are you guys doing? I hope all is well with everyone. <laughs> and I am off to get my hair done, colored, and trimmed. Not sure I want it trimmed up too much because I'm kind of liking it the length it is. She might need to nip just the ends off just to get rid of some some flyaways that kind of happened there. And Chris was the last one to drive this van. Oh, he's taller in the torso than me. I am tall, you guys, but I am short torsoed. I, my inseam is 32 inches, which is the same inseam as my dad, who is 6'3 and a half, has. So that tells you I have some long legs. <laughs> and a short torso. And I think that might have been why I had to have cesarean sections. If you didn't know, both of my children were born uh, by cesarean. I guess I could tell you that little story, huh? <laughs> they were both big, beautiful babies. Um, Kristen was eight pounds, 10 and a half ounces and 20 inches long. <laughs> and I went until I was about two and a half weeks late with her and uh, they did a fetal heart monitor test on me and actually she was taken almost in an, as, as an emergency a little bit. We kept an eye on her overnight and they did the cesarean the next day because, you know, we don't want her to be under stress and... Uh, So she was born healthy as can be with a head full of hair. Oh my goodness, both of my little babies were born with uh, with beautiful dark hair. Candace's was so long I couldn't put a bow on it. <laughs> and then Candace, when she was born, my OB said, I'm only letting you, because I, I wanted to do VBAC, you know, vaginal delivery after cesarean. And he said, we'll let you go one week. We'll let you go on one week, but you and Chris make big babies. And he said, I'm not guaranteeing that you are big enough to accommodate this one. <laughs> I said, okay. So we went a week late and I had not, never, with either one of them, I had never dilated. I had never done anything, nothing. Never dropped, never dilated, never did anything that you're supposed to do. So went in the day that uh, Candace was to be born and they of course gave me an epidural and got me all set up on the table and started you know the incision and then he says oh, I'm having troubles you know reaching her getting her you know to come down so I can get her out and this nurse came around my the back of my head and she said bless her heart she's very nice that she says now honey I'm going to have to press on your abdomen and I'm going to have to press and push that baby down a little bit I said touch me I said I dare you touch me I said I can't breathe as it is. She was so, I was so big with Candace and I didn't gain that much weight. It wasn't weight gain. It was baby. I said, I can't breathe as it is. If you press down on me, I'm going to lose, I'm going to lose consciousness. I said, you cannot push on me. And the doctor peeked up over there. He said, don't worry, honey. I got her. He was an old Southern doctor. He had the prettiest Southern draw that guy. And he would make you feel, bless his heart, he passed away. But he would make you feel like you were, you know, just gold in his, you know, in his care. He was so, oh, I loved him. Anyway, regardless. Uh, so anyway, they ended up managing to get Candace. <laughs> and she came out. I could hear her just squawking. And she is the was the quietest little girl <laughs> ever. Still is quiet. But she came out squawking. And she was 10 pounds. 10 pounds and 18 inches long and she's about this big now <laughs> head of hair beautiful babies beautiful beautiful babies mom I think I've said this before but my mama always called them their little papooses she said they look like little little papooses with all that dark hair and she did you love my little papoose <laughs> anyway but all that said whoops I want to go straight I am headed to a way across town for my hair first 
and, and then I'm gonna get these talons trimmed and I'm gonna have them painted a color I think I might do that real pretty red that I like uh, and have a design put on just the, my ring fingers that she does by hand you know so that's my it, today's my spa day <laughs> but I'm heading out a little earlier than my appointment it's 10 47 now hopefully I'll have enough time to run in to dress barn I have dress barns on two sides of town uh, but I saw a beautiful jacket that I want to get it's like a I think they called it a duster and it's black and it's got white and pink like I want to say lilies don't quote me on that I'm not sure if that's the kind of flower but really pretty flowers on it so I thought I would uh, try to pick that because pick that up because I just got a coupon that came into my phone for 30 or 35 percent off of a uh, regular priced item which this is a regular priced item so I saw it online but in order to get free shipping online you have to spend $75 I was like eh, no, I don't want to spend $75. I want that one jacket. Of course, it's easier to sit at my computer and go, boop, boop, boop. I'm going to, you know, I'm just going to order it right up. And, uh, but I decided not to. So if I can't see it in the store, I'll have them order it up for me in the store and have them ship it to my home for free. Actually, I'm not sure if Dress Barn does that. If nothing else, I'll have them ship it to the store and I'll go back and pick it up from the store. But I, you know, I just, I just hate paying shipping, y'all. I hate it. I, I'm like, really and truly, I love, I've said this about 500 times too, I love Amazon Prime. And, uh, but I, I can't stand to pay shipping. And I do like, in certain, on certain occasions, I will pay shipping. And that is to the Pitberry Barn. That's pretty much the only time that I pay shipping is when I order something from the Pitberry Barn, I will, pay shipping for that because they very rarely often offer free shipping but uh, because I like their product so much and because they do a good job packing it up and and sending it to you I'm still waiting on my order it should be here sometime next week I'm hoping it was supposed to be at my house I think that the it's not the pit berry I think it's my my new mailman who is uh, we got a new one and he's getting all confused. We've gotten the neighbor's mail. The neighbor's gotten our mail. Packages are sent to the wrong houses. We've been switching and swatching and it's been a hot mess. So it's probably due to him that I have not gotten my order from the Bitberry Barn. So if I do get it, y'all very well might see me again over the weekend, maybe, if I can do uh, a haul for that. But we'll see, I don't know. I need to record my uh, next Q&A and you know why I like to record them on Friday because I'll tell you you guys it took me until I you know I had said somebody had asked me how long it takes me to edit my videos and stuff and I had said when I answered that question that my Q&A's don't take any time at all I just listen to myself ramble on and blah 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 well they've ended up taking me longer than say my haul videos because my craft videos take the longest. They take the longest, but my haul videos are usually pretty quick and pretty easy to, to, uh, to edit. And so I can manage those pretty easily. But my Q and A's, they took, it took me up until Sunday evening. I recorded it Friday and it took me up until Sunday evening, truly, to get everything edited. Well, I did add some vintage, <laughs> vintage footage to that and I'm not sure if I'll be doing that with this one coming up I can't remember exactly all the questions I've got on to 20 questions though <laughs> it's gonna take me a while so I'm not sure but it did take me a while to edit that so half of that time though was looking for the vintage uh, footage on another hard drive that we had so Chris helped me find that bless his heart because he's been transferring everything over to external hard drives to keep make sure everything's kept safe especially footage like that from you know back in the 80s when our little girl when our girls were just tiny little so anyway regardless uh, I do want to record that for Monday so I can get that up on Monday but I've been waiting for the Pitberry Barn stuff. Plus I have something coming from eBay that I want to share with you. And I just got some from Amazon that I want to share with you. But the eBay purchase hasn't come yet either. So I'm waiting on 
those three things, I'm going to do those three things. Well, those two things, the Amazon purchase and the eBay purchase, and then the Pitberry Barn um, haul. And I can't remember all that I got from the Pitberry Barn, but I want to really do a haul with those. I know I'm always talking about them, and I'm always sending you guys that way. But I want to, and I know that if any of you are hesitant to purchase from them because they are a little pricey, I, admittedly they are a little pricey but in this case you definitely get what you pay for it's worth it it's worth it so but I do want to show you that their merchandise up close so I'm hoping it comes and whenever it comes I will get y'all a haul video on out to show you that so <clears throat> but I'm really looking forward to this I've tried to wait to get my nails done until I got my hair until this day so I can do it all in one day and oh my land have mercy I am just I feel like I've got like like I said talons they are just ridiculously way too long and uh, I can't do anything can't type I'm doing and my backspace key is my favorite key because I keep making mistakes and whatnot so <clears throat> excuse me update on my pups uh, as you know those of you who saw me yesterday I mentioned that we were taking Samson to the vet it's a very bright sunny day today can you tell <laughs> uh, <laughs> I love the Sun though oh my goodness don't you can't it makes me happy the sunshine makes me happy it really does I love the sunshine I might have to grab a pair of sunglasses here Hate to do that because I like looking at you guys. I like you'll be able to see my me looking at you when I can, you know, in the car chat. Uh, this guy just did a U-turn right in front of me. Really? Oh my goodness! And now he's going. Well, he's red a light. So anyway. Uh, but anyway, we took Sam in, and he had that little poochy thing right in the in the corner of his eye there, and. We just want to make sure we didn't think that it was cancer or anything like that. It looks like a skin tag is what it looks like. And the vet took a look at it and she went, Psh. she said, that is nothing. She said, that is just a little, like you say, kind of like a skin tag. And she gave it a name and I didn't retain that name. Uh, she said, definitely benign. We see them all the time. Uh, and she said, if, it, if it's not bothering him, we're not going to worry about taking it off. And if it does, unless it bothers you guys that it's on there. And I said, are you kidding me? He is gorgeous. He is gorgeous. Little, little poochy thing in his eye and all. Are you kidding me? I said, that does not bother us one bit. And she said, he is considered a senior citizen. He's seven and a half almost. And Newfies are a giant breed dog. And anytime after six years old, pretty much, they're considered a, a senior citizen. And she said, and I said, and I don't want to put him under if we do not have to unless we unless we absolutely have to would be the only reason why we put him you know under we'd sedate him and put him under anesthesia so mr. Sam is gonna have a little poochy thing in his eye which is absolutely fine uh, moving forward his weight was good He's, he had not gained any weight through the last year he's 162 he maintained his weight at 162 <laughs> His heart sounded good. His lungs sounded good. Everything sounded good. Looked good. He got his rabies shot. And he is good to go. Good, good, good to go. Reminded me I need to call the county of Spotsylvania, as a matter of fact, and register him again. Every time you get a rabies, well, you can register with our county, and they have to have dog licenses here in Virginia. And, uh... I need to re-register him because they'll send a copy to that guy. I did the last time too. So anyway, I think you can do up to three years. So anyway, I got to put that in my head, remind myself to do that. So we came home with his little rabies tag and, you know, and everything and everybody was messing over him. He is so well behaved in those situations, you guys. He is, he is so calm. It is, I mean, the vet walked in and he looked at her like, hello. You know, the tip of his tail went, hello, you know. Kind of waving at her and he said she said hi sam he's like yeah hello uh, you know not he's not fearful he wasn't excited he was just steady sam <laughs> he's awesome 
So I put, you know how you have to put them up on the scale? Sophie, I did her, put her up on the scale and she'd go right off the other side. <laughs> and he'd say, stop, Sophie. And then I'd have to grab her. No, come back and do a, you know, do a U-turn around and try to get her back up on the scale again. Sam, she, the little vet tech was new. I had not, she did not know us, you know. And I walked Sam over and I put him up on the scale and she went, hell no, no. I said, just hang on a second. And I put him up on the scale and I said, stop. And he stopped. On a dime. Thank you very much. I'm like, yes. Good boy, Sam. <laughs> and then I got him off the scale and took him right in the room and he laid down and he was awesome. He was awesome. So he is doing fine. And we did talk with her about Little Miss Gracie uh, and told her that right now they have to have blood work done. She has to have blood work done every six months because she's on an anti-inflammatory. And an anti-inflammatory can, you know, cause issues sometimes when it's taken regularly like that uh, with the liver. And, you know, they like to keep an eye on the liver and kidneys. and. Uh, you know, we have religiously taken her every six months since she started on this anti-inflammatory uh, for blood work. But we told her there's, we cannot get her over here for, for blood work right now. I, you know, we're sling walking her and, and she said, don't even worry about it. Uh, my vet has offered to come to the house many times and I know if they are going to insist that she needs this blood work, she'll come and she'll take it. So that's no big deal. She's awesome. I'm so blessed to have, have her. I'm not going to cry. I'm going to get through this video without crying, daggone it. But I'm blessed to have her. We are blessed to have her. And uh, she has been uh, the caretaker of our dogs for through many. <laughs> so uh, we did talk to her about that. And, you know, uh, you know, she assured us that all was going to be fine and that she'd be there and you know for us with with whatever we needed so Chris has got stuff in the back of this van I'm not sure what's back there but it's creaking I don't know can y'all see I don't know what that is I don't know whether he went and purchased something I don't know I can't tell what it is but he, we had a bathtub <laughs> delivered by kind of like a big truck yesterday he come backing up the driveway and Chris is looking out the window like stay on the driveway buddy stay on the driveway don't get in my grass don't anybody drive in Chris's grass it's not good and uh, but we had it delivered and we got the same kind of tub Chris is um, working you know downstairs somebody asked me t this morning on the video I put up of my Easter haul from Hobby Lobby and Cracker Barrel I think it was on that video or could have been on the one before uh, if I would give a tour of what Chris's shop looks like I have not asked Chris that yet so I don't know I don't know whether he would he would let me do that he may you know but it, he's got a big it's a big area and he's got a lot of uh, tools uh, that he has you know acquired through the years and then his daddy has given him uh, many wonderful lovely lovely tools so you know a lot of saws and I don't know what all it is but uh, if he doesn't care I can take you down there and walk you around uh, and show you his shop and uh, he's said he said I'm gonna be working with concrete today when I left and I'm like okay so he's you know getting ready to do the bathroom down there or what all he's doing But he's going to be a busy eye today. I am the only person on the road today. There is no traffic out today. Is there something special going on? I don't know. Not another. There's one car over on the other side. What is going on? Anyway, I'm almost over to my hair place. And I may come back and chat with you some more when I'm on my way over back across town to uh, where I get my nails done. So, I might catch you in a little while. Hey everyone, I'm back in the car from getting my hair done and I wanted to let you know that I did find that jacket from Dress Barn and I wanted to let you know that I ran over to Joann's 
and picked up just a couple of things. So I thought I would go ahead and do a little bit of a haul right here sitting in my car because I've got about 25 minutes before I need to leave where I'm sitting to get over to where my nails, I need to get my nails done. So <clears throat> let me show you what I was talking about from Dress Barn. I had a text come through on my phone. I swear they know you're coming. <laughs> you know these places and I had a text come through my phone that saved me 25 percent off of a regular priced item your whole entire regular price no just one one regular priced item that's what it was <clears throat> so this was the jacket it's it's actually they call it a duster and I did end up having to get it in a 3X. I'm usually a 2X, but I did need to go up a size in this, and that's fine. You know what, that's another thing. And I had to go up a size in another, well actually, I didn't have to go up a size. I found another pair of pants that were a size 24. You guys, I don't, I'm, I'm a chunky bunky, but I don't wear a 24. I'm usually a 20, 18, 20 to 22 sometimes if things are made small. But I tried a pair of pants, one I'll show you here in a second, that were um, actually, a 24 and they fit but I'm not looking at that 24 I'm not looking at it because I tried on it I thought oh my land am I really a 24 so I picked up another pair of pants that they had hanging up hanging there that was a 24 and they I could have fit me and another person in there with me so it wasn't it I try not to think about the number that I'm buying as far as like a 2x, a 3x, a 1x, a 20, an 18, a 22, 24, you know, things like that. I try not, try really hard not to look at that. I try to find clothes that fit me and that I feel good in. So, but anyway, here is this, as you can see, it's a three, it's a three X and it's from Roz and Allie. And it is just a really pretty duster. It has if I can grab a picture off of offline and throw it here, I will. So you can see what it's supposed to look like. But as you can see, it has ties at the sleeves. And they, they're just faux ties. They don't tighten it or anything. They're just faux ties. You just tie around and tie a bow around it. And it's got a very pale pink and pale white on a black background. And it's got slits on the side, but it's really long. It comes down over my my rear end. So I really like that when it covers up that hind end a little bit. I really like that. So I thought this would be super pretty for the spring. It's lightweight, light, lightweight. So I thought this was super pretty. So I picked this up from Dress Barn. My go-to place, Dress Barn, and I like Avenue, but Dress Barn's clothes are, are better made. I think that avenues although I buy a lot from Avenue so and this is like non wrinkly it's like lovely so I bought this like I say it's hard to show you here and then here are the pair of pants that I bought in a 24 I actually bought a pair of white pants don't faint you guys but I have um, a long kind of a uh, not necessarily a tunic, but I actually I would like to find a tunic, black tunic top to go with this. I may be looking for that. But this is these are just pull-on white capris. I'm actually not sure. Are these called capris? I'm not sure if they're called capris, to be honest with you. I need to look them up. They have a little detail on the, on the bottom of the leg there. So they probably are capris. But they're nice and long for me, longer for me in my long legs. So I got these and then I got a pair. These were $14.99. Hello, they were on the sale route for $14.99. And then I got a pair of like black. These were 2X. 2X for $14.99. Check it out. And they are like a, you know, just a, a elastic waist with a tie. And they're kind of like crepey looking, but not feeling. So I really like these. And again, no wrinkles. I'm looking for no wrinkles. These white ones may wrinkle, but I don't think so. They're kind of a stretchy material. I don't think they're going to wrinkle. But the one thing I liked about the white ones is I couldn't see, you know, girls, let's talk about these, this, this stuff that's lovely and wrinkly on our, on our legs sometimes in, in, in what we call cellulite. And, you know, I never like to wear anything that's going to highlight 
<laughs> that loveliness. So these were loose enough in the legs where I don't think you're going to be able to look through and see any of that loveliness. So that's what I got from Dress Barn. I was super happy that I found that, that they had that jacket or the duster in there. And that I found these, it was a coup that I found these other two pairs of these other capris. So I'm really happy with that. So then I ran in and I got my hair did. New pretty, you know, same color as I always get. And she just trimmed me up a little bit. Uh, I just love my hairdresser, you guys. She is awesome. I have literally been going to her for decades, literally decades. And she did a fabulous job. I always love the way your hair feels when you come out, you know, of the, um, I still haven't fixed myself from being in there. When you come out of the hairdresser like that, it's, you know, it always feels so good and it feels good to get colored again for those of you who are gray like me and you get your color and you feel like you get body back in your hair, you know. So I did that, but I did purchase a few, uh, a couple of products that I wanted to hmm, share with you. And this is just my regular everyday products that I buy, I try to buy from her because I try to support her business, you know. Uh, but this I use, this is my shampoo, Color Extend Shampoo. So I did get me some shampoo. And then this is the hairspray I use. Triple Take 32, because my hair is really fine. I have a lot of it. I have a good bit of hair, but it's fine. And I need a good holding uh, hairspray. Hello. Triple Take 32 from Redken. I also use Redken conditioner, but I didn't need the conditioner. So I was good to go with, the, with just the shampoo. I don't use as much conditioner as I use shampoo. And then I ran over here to Joanne's. Can't see the store, but I'm sitting right in Joanne's parking lot. And they have their Easter stuff 40% off. So, look. Isn't that pretty? And the gold, I thought this could sit up on my credenza to the left where I'm going to be doing that gold bunny that I showed yesterday. How pretty, how pretty, how pretty. So this was $19.99, 40% off is heavy. 40% off, look at his little bow tie and the gold. I just couldn't, I couldn't resist it, you guys. I had to pick this up. Because it kind of goes with my, you know, my little gold theme. Right. So I got that. And then one more thing. I don't know whether I can, I'm gonna be able to show you this whole thing here easily. But y'all know the cozy corner, uh, the basket that sits on the left-hand side of my credenza where I have, where Chris's subwoofer is and that basket that sits up on there. And I always have a plaque kind of up, you know, leaning up against the wall and up against the credenza. Well, I've, I have a little bunny for Easter and I don't know, I may just go ahead and put this up for Easter this year, but I had like a wooden bunny that I just put there for lack because I didn't have anything else last year. But th their spring stuff is also 40% off. Now, this was a chunk of change originally. It was $50 originally, but I paid $25 for it. And it just says, it says, it's so good to be home. And it's like, it looks like it's, um, what well, it is planks of wood. And they look, to me, they look like dogwood flowers. So it's very springy. This is in their spring shop. It's so good to be home with more flowers on the bottom. Well, I managed to show it to you guys. Look at that. <laughs> oh my goodness. So I thought that was really pretty, the soft pastel colors and whatnot of, of Easter and of spring. And I thought it was, it was super, super pretty. So that's what I got from Joann's. So now I'm off to get my nails done and then I'll be home. And then we're having um, turkey for dinner tonight. Chris, uh, at Christmas time, had purchased a bunch of turkeys <laughs> on sale. They were like, I don't know, 10 cents a pound or something like that. And he pulled one out last, I don't know, about four or five days ago. And he cooked that puppy up yesterday. And we were so busy, we didn't have a chance to eat it. So tonight we're going to make all the fixings. No stuffing, though. We're not doing stuffing. We're just doing mashed potatoes and gravy and... Um, 
corn, I think, because that's what we have in the house. <laughs> I don't even think we have any rolls <laughs> to go with it, but uh, Kristen is coming over for dinner, so I wanted to go ahead and get this done. I'm not sure I'll be able to get it edited for first thing tomorrow morning, so you guys will probably see this on Friday, but maybe not until later in the morning, and that's why, because I don't want to take my time away from her to do the editing of this video. So... Anyway, I'm on my way over to get my nails done, so I will come back one more time and show you the end result with my nails and say goodbye to you then. So I'll be back in a little while. You're kind of running my errands and doing my stuff with me today. <laughs> so I'll be back in a little bit. Okie dokie, everybody. I'm done getting my nails done, and I'm fixing to head back home now. <laughs> Whew, it's been a day. It is now... It's four o'clock, 3.55, oh my goodness. So, but check out my nails. I hope you can see them. Aren't they pretty? She did a fabulous job. They're kind of pink, pink uh, glittery polish. And then she put like a white glittery polish over the, just the tips, because I didn't get my whites done. I usually have pink and white nails, and I didn't get the whites done this time. But she did give me a, a design a flower on each ring finger it's so pretty so pretty she does such a fabulous job and I tell her that I use my hands all the time and my hands are on camera a lot so she always does like a, a, a extra special pretty job on my nail she takes her time I mean I'm sure she does with everybody I'm nobody special but she does a fabulous job fabulous fabulous job so super happy with my hair and I'm super happy with my nails and oh, super happy with what I bought and I'm just super happy <laughs> oh my goodness and I'm gonna get to see Kristen this evening so that really makes me happy too and I wish I could see Candace but she does live further away than Kristen does she lives an hour and a half away and she works you know until five o'clock every evening so uh, i am going to touch on her job a little bit in my q a as a matter of fact somebody asked me what she what her job is so i will be telling you about that in my q a but i am on my way home now and i am we're going to sit and have that turkey dinner and i'm not sure how long Kristen is staying probably not too too long because she, she has to work tomorrow the olympics start tonight it's thursday evening so i will be watching the olympics i love the olympics no matter whether it's summer or uh winter i love the olympics i love the figure skating and the the skiing and I mean, I love everything. I love everything. Uh, my favorite is probably the figure skating though. I really like the figure skating. I love the downhill. Oh my goodness, skiing. I like the luge, you know. I like the speed skate. I like everything. I do, I like everything. I just, I think that the Olympics are awesome. So I will be trying to catch those. <laughs> and I think they do. I think opening ceremony is Friday night, tomorrow night for me here right now as I sit and talk to you. It's Thursday after, late afternoon. Um, and I think the opening ceremonies are tomorrow night. And But I heard somewhere, I heard on the radio or something that there is going to be some figure skating on tonight. So I will be trying to catch that a little bit. And uh, But I also love Grey's Anatomy, if it's not a, um, a repeat and scandal. I've watched both of those, too. So I don't know how I'm going to fit it all in, for goodness sakes. Probably I'll record the Olympics, whatever time their evening coverage is every evening. Although I hear that we can watch it all day. Although I, I tell you guys, I don't ever, really ever, turn on my television during the day. I just never do that. I mean, we really don't turn on the TV until after dinner, and that's always been my habit. And I think that stems from when I didn't work, and I didn't want people thinking that I was sitting at home eating bonbons, you know, during the day while my kids were at school. I very rarely sat at home, and you all have known me pretty well right now, and you know that I'm not one to sit around and do nothing, you know. So, uh, but I just don't, I just, do other things I keep busy doing my crafts and doing my decorating and now you know doing all of my uh, YouTubing stuff so 
I am going to try to get back to more of your comments this evening, but I'm not sure that I'll get back from the from the video I put up this morning. And like I said, if my pit berries come, excuse the sun, woo -wee, woo. Um, if my pit berries come and my other little thing from eBay comes, then I before the weekend, then I will do a haul over the weekend, probably. If not, then I'll do it uh, for Tuesday, whenever they come. They won't come until, you know, next week, probably. They don't come by tomorrow or, or uh, Saturday. So I will uh, do that for Tuesday, probably. I'm going to try to do a couple of more, uh, or at least one more uh, organizing video, maybe before I start on my on my Easter stuff, but I'm itching to do my Easter, so I'm not sure. But anyway, I'm going to quit yammering on here because I really have talked with you guys <laughs> a lot, and traffic is very heavy, and I want to pay attention to what I'm doing here. Kind of the rush hour traffic in my town here. Goodness gracious. So, I hope you've enjoyed this kind of a hodgepodge and a, a, of, of my day here, and uh, thank you for coming along with me. <laughs> and I'll say one more time, I hope to goodness uh, that there's nothing picking at you or, or worrying you, and uh, that is taking your focus off of everyday things. And if so, I'm very so, 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 so sorry. And uh, for those of you who have reached out to me to let me know about a loved one who's ill or something like that, I always say an extra prayer and you all know that I'm sincere when I say that for sure. And the sun is right in my eyes here. So, uh, but anyway, I'm going to let you guys go for now and I will say I might see you again this weekend, but if I don't, have a great weekend <laughs> and I'll definitely see you Monday with my Q&A. So, until next time, as I shield my eyes here, <laughs> y'all take good, good, good care. <laughs>